OK, let's get to our guests. Now, they have played two of Soap's biggest baddies. Corrie's villainous Stephen, that's actor Todd Boyce, came to a grisly end last year as his four murders finally caught up with him. <laughs> yes, I know. And as EastEnders' Ryan, Neil McDermott had an affair with Stacey Slater and killed his sister Whitney's <laughs> abuser. So they are pairing up now for a new play. Here to tell us more, please welcome Todd Boyce and Neil McDermott. <laughs> Should Hello. we be worried? It's two of you. <laughs> Should we be worried? Well, probably this one. Yeah. <laughs> see each other off before we see anyone else off. Yeah, but what yeah, a great, how great to play baddies. Oh, right? It is good, isn't it? We've um, we've discussed it. Uh, is it good? It is good, yeah. Because the public I mean, really believe it, don't they? They so do. In your personal life, is it not like you go into a supermarket and... People having a go at you about your character. I always used to say when I used to walk around with like some of the other actors from EastEnders when I was doing it. If I was walking around with Charlie Clements, who played Bradley, because he played such a lovely character, they'd want to come and give him a hug and yeah. stuff where they'd be very wary of me. <laughs> but then again, if I was walking around with uh, Charlie Brooks, who played Janine, then all of a sudden they'd be quite friendly towards me. <laughs> you be so scared of her. <laughs> yeah. I think they. I think they ran out of patience and they just wanted me to be found out and they couldn't bear it. Yeah. I was having trouble paying for parking in Windsor the other night, Saturday night, after two weeks there. <laughs> and this woman, I was really, I couldn't, the fit machine wouldn't work, it ate my car. She said, we really couldn't wait for you to go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just got to pay for and get out of here. Yeah, but, that means, but that shows how well you're playing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you that's were good. both so yeah. extraordinary baddies. Um, so you've teamed up now in a play yeah. called Sleuth. So this was set, I believe, Todd, was it in the 70s? It, yeah, 1970. Uh, it? it first first uh, played Broadway, that's right, 1970. It, it, it's a wonderful piece. It's, it's wonderful to go back and watch films, isn't it, where there's no mobile phones and there's no cell phones. It's that world mm. that's so beautiful to enter and be in. And uh, So we're having a great time with so it. So it's just the two of you? Well, there, there are some surprise characters that turn okay. up along the way, but the bulk of the show is a two-hander. Um, yeah, so it was written by Anthony Schaffer in 1970, played on Broadway, won a Tony Award, so we're dealing with good material. Mm. It's a really good play. So tell us about the, the characters and what's the story, obviously, without spoiling it for people who are going to come and see So we it. are set in Todd's character, Andrew White's country house. And my character, I play uh, a guy called Milo Tyndall, who's sort of from Italian descent, and he's, but he lives in South London. And he comes to the house, and we learn that he would like to marry Andrew's wife. And, um, oh, oh. and, we, do. <laughs> and we find out that Andrew's sort of OK with the idea. Oh, but, uh, yeah. but would like it to be a fixture. I want, I want, I want him to really take her off my hands because she's high maintenance. <laughs> oh. and she, I talk about, you know, to, to sort of put up with another bickering eternity and all the oils, the unguents, the bottles, the you know, the gels, the you know, body socking on the breakfast. Trailer. Describing my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so he just he he sort of makes it clear that he, you know, you've got to have money to to take this woman off my hands properly because she'll so, come back to me. So he's a, he, your character's a famous. Yeah, right, famous crime, detective, crime, detective writer. crime writer. Yeah. Okay, and I read somewhere that you said if people like the traitors, yes, which we all love, yes. traitors, mm. it's yeah. very fresh in our memories. They're going to love this because yeah. it's kind of similar. It's a thriller, game playing. right? Yeah, there's lots of games playing. It's sort of about jealousy and manipulation. Um, as the play goes on, Andrew's. Uh, Todd's character, Andrew, is trying to play games and mind games with my character. We never know who's winning at any point. Um, so, yeah, when we were in rehearsals, Rachel and I, the director, we, we would go home and watch an episode of Traitors for inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> some ideas for our show yeah. to make it as exciting and thrilling as we could. Wow. Yeah. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it's, it's a kaleidoscope of kind of uh, acquisition and, and greed and jealousy and envy and... Uh, Sleight of hand, so yeah, very Juicy much stuff. traitors. Sounds like an autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking earlier. Both of you are obviously out of the soaps that you're in now, but uh, portraying baddies—that's is that something that stepping out of your comfort zone? We were speaking about that earlier. How easy did you find that to play those characters? Do you know, it sounds boring, but it's just playing the circumstances. Mm -hmm. My character—the wheels came off his life. He had a great deal of money. He lost his fortune. What do you do if you if you have a mum? You go home, uh, and that's what he did. But instead of saying you go home, you don't then murder four people. You don't <laughs> murder four people. Well, the first one was an accident, and then he yeah. just kept digging Oops. himself. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you, I, I, 
I don't think... Uh, my character didn't wake up that morning and think, I'm going to kill someone. He just kind of accidentally grappled for a phone and... <laughs> and is there any sort of... Because <laughs> I know, as obviously, acting is, you know, you have to give of yourself into that. In terms of psychologically, how did that affect you? Did you bring it home with you at all? Um, I think it's very important with any role that you're playing to be able to leave, leave it at work. work and then just go home and get on with your life. Mm. Um, I didn't watch the show. I remember when I was doing EastEnders on the, my extended period on the show. Um, after about six months, I decided not to watch it anymore just yeah. to... Because I was doing it at work, right? Yeah. So you, it's like you guys going home and watching an episode. Oh, every least. night I watch it. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bit odd to be 24-7, yeah. so... Um, yeah. Yeah, you just got so to a big question always yeah. with soap characters is, would you go back? So you have been back a couple of times to EastEnders, haven't you? And yeah. obviously, um, Whitney, am I allowed to say that she's... Am I, is that a spoiler, Whitney? But she's a really good actor, yes. She's a storyline. She's a storyline. There's a storyline yeah. story with your yeah. half-sister, Whitney, coming yeah. up. So if there was I an approach... I think we're OK to, to, to be, say that, I think... Yeah. I think. Right? Anyway, I <laughs> done now. Anyway, would you go now, back? Yeah. If you got the call, would you ever go back? Um, so yeah, it's like one of these things. That, it's something that I don't really think about a lot because um, I'm with the play till May. Um, but you know, if it's right for the show and it's right for me, then of course I'll be yeah. there because it's a great yeah. job. Um, but I have lots of things that I'd like to do. That's there just... was speculation, actually, at Todd, because when they zipped up the body bag, yeah. you had that smirk. A little bit of face. a smirk, didn't it? A bit I? of a smirk he had. Yeah. And so there is the stuff online going, is he really Is he really dead? dead? Is it going to be a Bobby Ewing uh, Yes, it would have. I'm zipping himself and, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, the smirk was funny. We, we, we discussed the smirk and then, we, and then we forgot about it for a couple of weeks. And then, you know, at the time, there's always pressure. And I just thought... Maybe it was me just happy to be finished with a very tiring, tiring <laughs> wonderful you know, run in Corrie. But, yeah, this little smirk was, yeah. Yeah, was there. So. But have you seen all the stuff kind of going, oh, is he really... Yeah, I have, head? yeah, yeah. I think comes, comes, his brother anyway, comes sure. back with a gold tooth and says, you know, <laughs> his twin brother. He needs a twin brother to come back. Twin yeah. brother, yeah. evil yeah. twin brother yeah. from yeah. somewhere. Well, listen, um, you're going to stay with us because right. we're going to take a break, but we want to do this baddies, soap baddies quiz because I know you both like soaps, so even though you're in Corrie, you like EastEnders, vice versa. So um, we'll see if their soap knowledge is any good. Put them to the test. So we're starting with this one. But if this is for everyone, OK? Have a look. Look at this clip, oh. and this is a Corrie <laughs> clip. Can you remember what happens next to this character? All been looking for you, I found you, and I'm taking your back now. Get in the car! <laughs> Go back, you stupid! <laughs> Do you know it? Do you know it? Don't say. <laughs> okay, we'll find out the answer after the break. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 